Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi signed the orders to kick NASA activist Miguna Miguna out of the country. The Interior Ministry, in a statement, now justifies the government's actions. Spokesperson Mwendan Joka says the Kenyan passport that he'd been using since 2009 was issued illegally as he had failed to disclose to immigration officials that he was a Canadian citizen at the time. The passport was issued back when he was working as an advisor in the office of the Prime Minister. According to the Interior Ministry, when the new constitution came into force, he, like other Kenyans who lost their Kenyan citizenship because they were nationals of other countries, were meant to reapply for Kenyan citizenship. But Miguna never did. But he kept his Canadian citizenship and even renewed his Canadian passport in June, just before the August general election. But in a statement from Amsterdam, hours after he'd been forced into a flight out of a country, Miguna denies he's ever renounced his Kenyan citizenship. He termed his deportation illegal and a violation of his rights and the constitution, saying the government did not follow laid down legal procedures for deportation. No one, as he put it, can invalidate or purport to cancel the citizenship of a Kenyan born citizen. Miguna, who was speaking out for the first time since his arrest from his Runda home on the 2nd of February, condemned his arrest and detention, terming it illegal. He accused the state of kidnapping him, holding him incommunicado, and destroying his property during a raid at his Runda home in a flagrant violation of his rights. He says he will fight in court what he says are illegal actions taken against him by the state. The government has been heavily criticized for deporting him and the justification that he wasn't a proper Kenyan citizen, with some questioning why he was even allowed to vie for Nairobi governor in the last general election, if he wasn't even a citizen. IEBC Vice Chair Consolata Nkatha Maina told us he met all the requirements before the IEBC cleared him. He presented a Kenyan passport, proof of registration as a voter, a list of 500 registered voters from Nairobi County, and his university degree certificate. He also presented clearance certificates from the Chapter 6 Working Group, which included the Directorate of Criminal Investigations and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. But in his self-declaration form, he'd failed to mention his dual citizenship. According to the IEBC's documents, the passport was issued in March 2009 and would expire in March 2019. But the government now denounces this document, saying it was issued illegally and it thus remains an illegal document. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.